This is Kate Hedberg. I'm an electrical applications engineer here at Go Engineer. This video is to show you how to add 3D bodies to your SOLIDWORKS PCB footprints. To add a 3D body to your PCB footprint, you need to start by editing your PCB library. Then, go into your View tab. Here you can access your library PCB footprint browser. Browse to the footprint you want to edit. In this case, I'm looking for my SO8-L component. I like to start by ensuring that there's no 3D part already attached, so I press the 3 key to activate my 3D viewer, and then rotate around by holding the Shift button and the right mouse button. Sure enough, there's no body, so I press the 2 key to get back into my 2D footprint. To add a 3D body to the footprint, Go to your Home tab and there's a 3D Body button. The two main options I use are the Extruded Body and the Generic 3D Model. I'm going to start with the Extruded option, which requires you to draw an outline of your component on the footprint, and then specify an overall height of the extrusion. I input an overall height of 1.75 millimeters, and when I hit OK, it's waiting for me to draw an outline. Click until you've completely defined the profile of your extrusion and then right click to finish. The add 3D body dialog pops up again in case you wanted to add more bodies. I'm happy with this so I click cancel. I hit the 3 key again to see how my extrusion came out. It looks pretty cool, but I want to add one of my existing SOLIDWORKS models instead. So I hit the 2 key to get back into the 2D mode. I click the outline we just drew and I delete it. Now I go back to my Home tab and my 3D Body button. Here, instead of selecting Extrude, I'm going to select the generic 3D model. This lets me link this component to a 3D model and use it in my board assemblies. I go down and click the Embed Model button and browse to the 3D model I want to use. SOLIDWORKS PCB lets you use step files, parasolids, and SOLIDWORKS part files. You can rotate the part if it comes in sideways, and if the footprint doesn't look quite right, you can always press the tab key to get back into the 3D body properties. Once I place my model, I can hit the 3 key again and bask in how awesome my model looks. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us here at Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.